they have a really good story to tell but first I do want to say my birthday is the 29th of this month which should be either today or tomorrow depending on what time you guys see this video or when you do see this video because more than likely I should have this uploaded by the end of the 28th so yeah 29th is my birthday this month just thought I'd throw that out there let's get into the commentary so today I want to talk about something called experiences there are many experiences that you can have but there is one in particular that I have experienced and it wasn't the best and it wasn't the greatest for me but it was something that I felt like trying and I did it and I kept doing it but then I had to stop because you know I had come to my senses I realized you know I'm getting older I need to be a little bit wiser I need to kind of grow up a little more and I'm starting to realize that you know there's that time in your life that you gotta start growing up a bit but you know this was about a year ago and you guys may not even know this you guys may not think just life what the fuck there's no way you do this there's no way you've done this or have been doing this but yes guys I literally have gotten into this you know I mean dang who wouldn't look at those falls man all that nice all those nice colors in that sky man Oh my god, it's so amazing, dude. And look at that in the distance. It looks like a big mushroom. Holy shit. Dude, I'm hungry. Let's go to Denny's. Yeah, so if you don't get that, uh, I smoked weed, basically. And I hate saying it. I hate even talking about it. But I've had some pretty funny moments and pretty stupid shit that I've done while experiencing uh, smoking weed and you know lately I've not done so but this was about a year ago and this was the first time I ever did smoke weed it was just a typical normal day after school I decided to go home to my grandparents where I lived at for a little while and now I'm kinda with my mom most of the time and dad I've been always seeing my dad but for the most part kinda with my grandparents mom and dad I guess you could say my mom moved back into town and I was trying to get things together from my grandparents house to move to my mom's house. You know, later on during the evening, I got all the stuff that I needed to and I decided, hey, you know what, I'm going to go outside and shoot some hoops. Why not? Because I, you know, I felt like it. So I was just shooting hoops casually. My grandfather's mowing the lawn and this car pulls up in the driveway. Normally we don't have people that pull up in the driveway besides people that my grandparents know. As a matter of fact, it was my friend, Zach. And Zach is a long lost time friend that I used to hang out with and talk to back in middle school. And same thing with John, who was the one that led me into the experience of smoking weed. So Zach pulls in the driveway. He's like, hey, Pat, what's going on, man? I'm like, hey, Zach, what's going on, dude? He's like, hey, you doing anything? I'm like, no, not really. He's like, hey, you want to go over to John's house, play some basketball, maybe chill? I'm like, oh, shit, this dude wants me to fucking chill? Oh my god. You know, I thought about it and I'm like, you know, fuck it. Let's do it. Gotta do it sometime soon. So, I get my basketball. I hop into uh, Zach's car. And we head off to John's house. And we get down there in no time. Zach pulls out and gets out of the car. And he tells me to stay put under the dashboard. And then he tells me, John, guess who I have? I poke my head up. John's like, oh my god, Pat. What are you doing, man? I'm like, hey, man, what's up? He's like, hey, dude, what's up? And I could tell by look on his face and his eyes and I'm like yeah this dude this dude looks like he's been smoking some weed he's so good which is something my friend used to say but anyways moving on so you know Zach just brings his vape and he just vapes a little bit here and there and we end up shooting some hoops for a good couple hours until it gets dark and as a couple hours later it gets dark I should just jump head right into it why not so we just shoot hoops basically for a quite a long time like I said, a couple hours basically. It gets dark, John's like, you know what, we should go in. Pat, come on man, you know you want to do it. And I'm like, you know what, let's go man, let's let's do this shit. So we go head inside, me, Zach, and John, go up to John's room, John gets the stuff out and Zach's like, oh my god, Pat, you are nervous as fuck dude. And my hands are shaking, I'm like, oh god, dude, I don't know man, I, this is the first time I'm doing this, I don't know what I'm doing. And Zach's like, John, Pat doesn't know what he's fucking doing. This is his first time, man. And John's like, oh my god, Pat. And, you know, he just tells me what to do and shit like that. And he just tells me that, you know, inhale in, exhale out, stuff like that. 
and, and basically I do what he told me to do but the flavor of it it just got to me like I couldn't do it I tried doing it a good couple of times I did pick up a little bit of a hint but not too much and he's like you know what Pat I'm breaking out the big guns and I thought he was gonna get out like a goddamn bong but he got out something different he got out a bottle with a thing of water in there and I don't know what the hell it was but he's like Pat this should help you so what I had to do was I had to put my mouth on the kind of suck some air in like blow, blow some air in and you know I had to kind of put my mouth over the bottle and kind of make bubbles into the bottle as he lights the bottle up so as he does that I don't know what the hell I can't remember the rest of what it was that was holding up everything I don't know where the weed was and shit like that but all I know is as soon as I started inhaling in a bit all this smoke went in and I cushed it back out I'm like oh my fucking god dude I was fucking glazed I didn't know what to do like holy shit I was basically baked off of that one thing that I did on that bottle and whatever the fuck I did. Oh my god, I don't know if I wanted to do that again, but shit. That literally got me fucked. And I was pretty much glazed for most of the rest of the night. And I saw John the next day, and he said, Pat, how you feeling? I'm like, dude, that was so fucking good. But anyways, guys, oh, thanks for shit. watching. Stay tuned for more, and it doesn't hurt to try new things, guys. Just saying. But there are some things that you shouldn't really try until you're ready for. But this is one of those things that I would not recommend doing. So stay safe, stay cool, see ya, and peace out.